So many SmackDown stars coming to Raw and also Braun Strowman beating the absolute hell out of Roman Reigns. Let's discuss on this review. Welcome to Monday Night Raw Review, guys. I am Boy123Jim, April 10th, 2017. Oh my god, I'm a little tired. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired. But, um, a lot of crazy shit happened tonight, in my opinion. I felt tonight's show was good. It was good. It's not great or awesome or better than last week. No, it was good for me. I feel like in the second hour it slowed down, but in the third hour it picked up a little bit. But the first hour killed it, dude. So we begin the show live in Long Island. Michael Cole, Saxon, and Corey Graves are talking about Superstar Shakeup. And then John Cena's music hit, and I'm thinking, what? John Cena's on Raw? What? Is and then after that, The Miz came out with uh, Maurice dressed as Nikki Bella, and Miz was dressed as Cena. They come to the ring, and they're mocking Cena and Nikki Bella again. And then, you know, he's like, Mrs. Uh, Cena, uh, in, in uh, air quotes, John Cena was like, oh, Hollywood didn't want us. We stink. We can't act. We have this robotic voice, you know? So, we're going to come back to Monday Night Raw. And then Dean Ambrose music hit I'm like, what? Ambrose? Ambrose comes out. So, I'm thinking to myself, okay. Either they're here on Raw, or they're just, they're still a part of SmackDown until, you know, the general manager picks them. I don't know. So, Ambrose comes out, he's playing along, and he's like, yo, John, John, uh, uh, congratulations are in order that you and Nikki are getting married, you know, and I, and I saw your movies, you know, you're, you're not that bad of an actor, I mean, if you I mean, as long as you're not doing something dumb like uh, Marie 5, you know? And then Miz is like, bruh, it's me, The Miz, and that's Maurice, not Nikki Bella. You do know that, right? And Dean Ambrose is like, oh! Well, then, dirty deeds! <laughs> he just dropped him. He drops Miz. I'm like, wow. That was lit. I like that. I like that. Then they promote Roman Reigns having a segment, uh, an interview with Cole. And the revival was up against the New Day. Next, after the after the break, we had Kurt Angle backstage talking on the phone, and then Zayn comes in. And he's still wondering if he's going to smack it down. And then the Miz came in, and and like Maurice is like, "What are you like, Kurt? This is how you run your show, bro? We just got away from Daniel Bryan. Like, how, you, you need to do something about this, right?" Sammy's said, like, "Bruh." We're having a conversation. Miss just cut him off and said, um, we're have uh, adults, let the adults talk, okay? Uh, just relax. And then, and then Miss just went off. He's like, won't you just shut your mouth and just leave? And then Sam's like, all right, I'm right here. I'm standing right here. How about your bitch ass tell me to shut up? And we, yeah, we could go down right now. Kurt Angle's like, bruh, I am not in the mood. We are not doing this in the back. No backstage politics, I right? Y'all want to fight? Go in the ring. And then we come back into the arena. New Day comes out. Uh, uh, Woods and Big E are talking. I'm like, where's Kofi Kingston? I tweeted out. I was like, where is Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier? Oh, yeah, he's broken. Hashtag top guys. Hashtag say yeah. And then the Revival come out. The Revival. They defeat Big E and, Co and Xavier Woods in a great tag team match. Can't wait for the Revival to get some tag team titles. And for the love of God, Michael Cole, they are not gold. The tag team belts are not gold. They are silver. Red strap, silver plates. I can see it. You're telling me that that's gold? Unless you're telling me gold is 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 like a grayish color, a grayish uh, shade. Like, it's a, uh, uh, 
cool. You need to get your shit right. So in the end, Revival hits a beautiful catching Shatter Machine onto Woods and got the win. Backstage, we have uh, TJ Perkins beating up with Neville. Neville's talking to uh, TJ. I didn't really see er everything. I, I, I caught up until Austin Aries talking to TJ saying, you're going to let Neville try to buddy you up for some reason. And then TJ just walked off. So then after that, we have Kurt Hawkins in the ring. I'm like, okay, Kurt Hawkins is on Raw now. And then Big Show comes out and knocks him the fuck out. And after that, we have Perkins against Aries. Decent match. Uh, I feel like this is where it slowed down for me. It slowed down a little bit, but I was still invested. Um, Perkins, he beats him with a, with a roll-up. All right, Austin Aries was distracted by Neville. Uh... Aries went back into the ring. TJ Perkins cut him with a, a surprising roll-up. A small package. Got the win. Aries is complaining to Neville. He's like, what the fuck you doing, bro? Just cost me a, you just cost me the match. And then Perkins, surprisingly, got in the ring and knocked this motherfucker out. He got in the ring, beat up Aries, and turned to you. So no more dabbing? No more awesome gaming music? What, what now? Is he going to get new music like Neville did? Is he going to get new entrance? New graphics? New Titantron? Minitron? All that shit? Is he going to get all that? i love to know. We'll see in the next couple of weeks. So we have Seth Rollins coming out. Seth Rollins is thanking the crowd for being behind him. He had the crowd in the palm of his hand. Seth Rollins, you know, had a great pop. Uh, talking about how he beat Triple H. And he, he wants to be... A good guy he doesn't want to be um, a guy where he's selling out and you know he wants to do things right and he even challenges Stephanie McMahon say hey, look bro if you want me to go to Smackdown you have to bring every motherfucker in the back to take me out cuz I ain't going down without a fight and then Kurt Angle comes out and said look bro all right if this was two weeks ago yes you will be gone to Smackdown but as long as I'm GM you have a home in Monday Night Raw. And that is true. So Seth Rollins will be standing on Raw. I kind of want him to go to SmackDown. I don't know why. I, I uh, But, hey, we have the Shield on Monday Night Raw. Think about that. We have Ambrose. We have Reigns. And we have Rollins. Let's hope that none of those guys, if you want to see the Shield return like I do, let's hope that they do not bring either Rollins or Reigns to SmackDown because it won't make no sense for them to bring Ambrose to Raw and then bring him back to SmackDown. This isn't John Cena 2011 where he got drafted to SmackDown and then he gets drafted back to Monday Night Raw. No. This ain't no. Or Triple H freaking getting traded, right? The Triple H got drafted to SmackDown and he get traded by the Dudleys and, and Booker T. Ah, not about that. So, we have, we have Kevin Owens getting interviewed by Charlie, uh, talking about the Superstar Shake-Up. Kevin Owens doesn't really give a damn, and he says, um, I'm going to show Dean Ambrose that he can run around Raw with the Intercontinental title, even though she fucked up with the Intercontinental, Intercontinental yeah, it's Intercontinental Championship. All right, Charlie, just get that right. Kevin Owens made fun of her about that. And then... He says, look, as long as you are on Raw, I'm the man around here. I am the premier champion because this is the Kevin Owens show. And then finally, something different happened for once. Charlotte fought Nia Jax. The match was lackluster as fuck until she hit a mood so onto Nia Jax where her freaking knees to her feet hit her in the freaking face. And the fans were like, holy shit. And by the way, Elias Sampson, I saw you in that crowd, bruh. Leave a thumbs up or comment below if you saw Elias Sampson in the crowd. So yeah, Nia Jax in the end with a Simone drop wins the match. You know? And after that, they show a video package of Finn Balor will be in action but, uh, later on after the break. So after the break, we have Finn Balor taking on Mahal, hard body Mahal. I was hoping that Finn Balor will take on a SmackDown star, but... We have to get hard body Vaney Mahal. And uh, in the end, a uh, decent little match. And Bale was able to get the one with the coup. The it's so good 
to see Finn Balor back in action, dude. I was literally watching some Finn Balor matches and just... I don't, I'm just... I'm trying to set up Balor for something good in universe mode. I really hope he wins at Money in the Bank. I really... Re like, my pay-per-view coming up this Sunday. Hope y'all will stay tuned for that. Oh, if you don't know, Monday Night Raw, universe mode. Links in the description box below that uploaded today. Or, at the end of the video, there should be annotation on the screen. Or... There should be a card, top righty, the little eye shit, the top right corner of the screen. There should be a Monday Night Raw uh, episode right there. So after the match of Baylor winning against Mahal, we have Bray Wyatt. The, the whole graphic shows up and then Bray Wyatt says, Monday Night Raw is his new home. And he challenges Randy Orton, the WWE champ, to face him at Payback in the House of Horrors match. Remember what I said on SmackDown about the House of Horrors? Alright, you take everything bad about Raw and you put them in a house and then bam. So you take Stephanie Mc... Take the Monday Night Raw of last year or two years ago. Stephanie McMahon, Roman Reigns, and and Triple H, and McMahon, and, and uh, Vince McMahon, and, and the League of Nations, and... And so much garbage, all those for the past uh, year and a half. Take all that. Take WrestleMania 32 and then put Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt in that house. That's a house of horrors right there, in my opinion. So, yeah. And then he says, Monday Night Raw, I'm here. And they go to commercial, come back. CA takes on Miz. Great match. I think match of the fucking night, if not the New Day and the Revival was match of the night. This was second match of the night, in my opinion. Zayn taking on Miz. The fans were behind Miz and Sami Zayn. A lot more Sami Zayn than Miz. And in the end, Sami Zayn with the with the with the uh, surprising roll up and got the victory. So after that, uh, during after the break, we had Owens and Ambrose announced. So champ versus champ, U.S. champ and. KO Mania taking on the Lunatic Fringe, the Intercontinental Champion. Main event later on on, the, on Raw. So we had a backstage segment with Cole and Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, you know, as the fans are chanting, Roman sucks and just bowling Roman and all that. Roman Reigns is talking about he beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania and he's saying how it was, it was his biggest win of his career, but it was a difficult one at the same time. And then... As the second he said, this is my yard now. I'm the big dog now. Braun Strowman, I love, this is why he's the thumbnail of this video. I love this motherfucker. Braun Strowman comes through. First of all, he chucks Roman Reigns over a, t over a crate onto two tables like he was flying like he was diving into a freaking pool sideways, like in Roman Reigns. The fans in the background are chanting, thank you, Strowman, dude. Brought so much is beating him up, ramming a crate into the face of Roman, power slam onto a crate. And then he comes back and says, I ain't done yet. He brings him and he pushes him off a ledge. Roman Reigns went flying, dude. That was worse than what Zack Ryder went through in 2012 when Kane chokeslam him onto, um... I don't know what those called. Those those brown shits. Those I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, I remember when Kane choked Sam Zack Ryder on the outside off a ledge. This was fucking worse, dude. This was worse. Cause he was strapped onto a fucking gurney and it just went off. That was some funny shit. And then Braun Strowman later on come back for more and then he's like, I ain't done with you yet again and then he he locks him in the ambulance and then he tips over. This guy is Braun Strowman. If you ever see this or watch this or listen to this video, I want to be your best friend. So at least when I'm in trouble, you can handle the motherfucker that's giving me trouble. This guy lifted a goddamn ambulance. He saw what Big Show did in 2005. Tipping over a Jeep. He's like, bitch, I got you. He tips over an ambulance. He tipped over the ambulance, the ambulance, the ambulance truck got tipped over. Braun Strowman, we as a WWE fans 
Love you. And thank you. Hashtag goodbye, Roman. I'll be damned. I'll be damned if Roman Reigns just come back next week. Unless he's selling the fuck out of it. I'll be damned if he comes out and just walks out normally and says, My yard now. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. All right, I'll be damned. So we come back from that. We, uh, after they show multiple uh, replays of it. We have Gallows and Anderson, Primo, Nepico taking on Cesaro, Sheamus, Matt Hardy, and Jeff Hardy. I was interested in this match. Why? Because the Hardys. Simple as that. I care about Cesaro and Sheamus, but the Hardys, bro. The Hardys. I did tweet it out saying, we're going to have a dash of Broken Matt for now. Fuck TNA. Fuck the owl. Because they're in this lawsuit with TNA, of course. So we're not going to get the Broken gimmick for a while. I can see them. If they win, I hope they win, that the lawsuit. I can see the Hardys turning heel and then becoming Broken. I swear to God, that would be the best thing they could do. I'm not bullshitting. The Hardys has broken and their heels? Think about that for a second. Think about that. Alright. So yeah, the match happens. The fetch hit the lead. In the end, the Hardys with new graphics, new uh, Titantron, Minitron, all that stuff. And better pyro than last week. And in the end, the Hardys is Arnold Sheamus won. And uh, it will be the Hardys against Cesaro and Sheamus at Payback for the Raw Tag Team Silver Championships. Go backstage, Emma and Dana Brooke are backstage. Dana Brooke is reading a book, and Emma comes to and she's like, "Hey, let's go." Dana Brooke's like, "Um, what?" Uh, Emma, Emma, uh, sorry. Emma was like, "Dana Brooke, um, before you went with Charlotte, you were my protege. If you weren't." If it wasn't for me, you weren't beyond Raw. So, let go. And then Dinner Brooks like, look, I'm not going with you. I'm not going with Charlotte. I'm not going with anybody. I'm not as good, or I haven't been good as I thought I would, but I'm trying to get better. And I ain't going with nobody. I'm going with nobody no more. And then she walks up. Emma's like, all right, I got you. That, 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 that's the face she had on her face. That, that's, the, that's the expression she had on, on her face. I got you. Bailey comes out with her cringe promo. I'm a fan. The 12 year old fan. Thank you. I'm like, Sasha, please turn heel. I swear, just bust her, dude. Just beat her up. But the beautiful, and I swear to God, I say this every time, but she looks beautiful every time I see her. Alexa Sexy Bliss comes out like the witch that she is coming out and just saying, I don't need your approval. Shut your ass up. Alright, I'm here to stop this cringe. Alright, just, just stop. I'm a former two-time champ. I'm here to kick ass and get wins and win championships. And then, the girl that WWE had the nerve to call her fat years ago, Mickey James, comes to Monday Night Raw. And it says, the drama you had with on SmackDown is is not done yet, honey. And then Nia Jax is blindsides Mickey James. And then got in the ring. Alexa Bliss pushes Sasha into Nia. And then uh, in the end, everyone got wrecked but Alexa Bliss by Nia Jax. And Nia Jax is saying she's after that championship. And then after that, we have the main event, Ambrose and Owens. And... A slow, decent match. In the end, Ambrose won, and Jericho came back, and he beats up Owens, and he leaves the ring. I mean, Ambrose leaves the ring. Jericho comes in, he beats, he just hits a cold breaker, and that's that's it. The show ends. So that is Monday Night Raw, the Superstar Shakeup. Was it lackluster? A little bit, in my opinion. I mean, there was some, there was some surprising stuff, some things that might not make sense, and some things that some people are not gonna agree with. But in the end. It was a surprise, in my opinion, and then I'm just shocked to see Bray Wyatt, Alexa Bliss, Mickey James, and and uh, Miz and Maurice, and so many more. Dean Ambrose, you know. So hopefully SmackDown gets good people, not like Darren Young or Titus O'Neil or some bullshit. You know, I hope. That's what I pray. I pray for that. So what do you guys think of Monday Night Raw? Leave your comments down below. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching slash listening. Like I said, go check out the Mother Night Raw Universe Mode episode. Links in the description. Should be in the card on the annotation at the end of the video. I am Boy Want to Do Jim. Thank you guys for listening, and I am out later. Monday Night Raw was a good show.
the halls and the corridors stinking in blood He tasted his grin and it tasted good The king took his head Left him broken and dead 